Let's learn how to modify the default FPGA personality to add your own custom code. Just started LabVIEW. Going to select Create Project. I'm going to look under my particular device, which is the MyRio, and choose MyRio Custom FPGA Project. Earlier I've created a folder that will contain this project. And so I select that from my project root, and then I use the same base name of that for the project name. LabVIEW has found my particular device. I'm going to stick with the default FPGA personality, and then we're ready to go. This process of generating the project files from a template takes a little while. And eventually we see the files have been created. We see a couple of folders, a number of VIs that have been created. We have all of these resources available, especially under the FPGA target. Let's take a look at the FPGA main default VI that's been created for us. Looking at the front panel, we see the interface to the various Academic Rio Device Express VIs. We see the functionality of the MXP and MSP connectors. Taking a look at the block diagram, uh, we see the, the associated block diagram code. We see it's pretty large and complex looking. So our idea is that we would like to somehow be able to modify this with our own code, but yet keep a lot of the functionality intact. What I recommend is saving this to a new version or a new, new VI. And let's call this FPGA main modified. So that way, if you want to get back to the default and start over, it's just, it's pretty easy to do that. Now here's my recommendation for making a modification. As we navigate the entire design, we see that there's a lot of, lot of things going on with the block diagram. And again, if we want to keep a, a lot of this available for our Express VIs, I recommend that you keep most of the block diagram intact and then use the diagram disable to con comment out the connector C code and then add your own code uh, to replace connector C.